So tonight I come home and I go to charge up my electric car. I notice that my Voltec charger is dead. Let's crack this puppy open and see what's wrong with it, okay? Okay, I've got the circuit board out. I've got it on my bench here. And what we found is that what the problem is is one of the two ceramic fuses. This one here, I've already removed it, has gone open. So we're just going to replace this fuse and that should get this uh, charge cord back up and running again. I must have had a power surge at some point today when I was charging and it uh, kicked out a fuse. It's a 20 amp, 500 volt fast acting fuse is what's in there. So we got a new one here, we're going to replace it and that'll get my charger back up and running so that I can actually drive my car. So there's my new fuse in place. I just soldered some uh, good sized copper into the board and then tacked on a new fuse. Uh, I don't have the exact fuse that was in. The, uh, this is a 15 amp microwave oven fuse. Should be more than enough because the unit doesn't draw more than 15 amps anyway. It only draws about uh, 12 or so, 12 or 14 amps, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't blow it. Um, I'll have to get the 20 amp fuse if it does blow, but this will at least hopefully keep me going until I can get the right size fuses and we're gonna put this back together and see if it works. So there we have it, we put the board reinstalled. Just have to connect up the uh, supply and ground wires. We just put them back into their appropriate terminal blocks, terminal strips, and tighten down the screws, matching up the colors. Now I can do this without risking a shock because I have got the breaker turned off here. I wouldn't be working on this thing with 240 volts on it. I would not be working on it live. <sighs> Same on the other side. We've got five wires to connect on this side. We've got the red, black, and green that go to the, that go to the cord for the charger. And then there's the sensor wires, which are these other two uh, black and gray wires, which are actually used for the communication bus for the car to tell the uh, relays here when to uh, apply power. Contrary to what people think, these are actually not a charger. Uh, they do have some circuitry in them. It's just uh, ground fault sensing and protection circuitry. Uh, this circuitry in here has got nothing to do with charging the vehicle whatsoever. It's just the charger is actually on board in the car. All the circuitry does is verify that it's safe to charge, that the voltage is within the uh, specification, that the grounding is good, there's no ground faults, and that the car is ready to accept the charge. And that's what these other two uh, leads do here, the gray and the black ones. Here, these are actually uh, wires that communicate with the car. And by I mean by communicate, it's just a go, no go. Are you squeezing the trigger to apply power? And is the plug installed on the car so that it can charge? So we'll tighten those down and this last wire here, we'll install that one and tighten it down. And then we can put the front on the unit and apply power to it and see whether the lights turn green. If everything goes as planned, I should be able to bring the car back in, plug the car in, and then get the charge underway. Otherwise, I'll be having to haul out my 110 charger. and Well, that takes all night. Literally, it takes all night. This one takes about three hours and 15 minutes to charge my battery, and the other one takes eight to nine hours. So we don't want to have to resort to using that when we have that. Well, I've got the uh, charger back together. Now the moment of truth. We're gonna turn the breaker on, and we get a green light. That's good, it should go red, and it should go back green. There we go, we have power. Now to go get the car and plug the car in and see if it works. If that fuse isn't high enough amperage, it will blow, but I have a feeling a moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. Now, we'll just go grab the charger. Light lights up. And we'll plug it in like that. Light goes yellow. And it should go green to indicate that it's charging. 
And there we go. Uh, gone green. We are charging. So as you can see from the specifications here, it's 15 amps. So the unit should draw no more than 15 amps. And it doesn't. When the car is charging, it doesn't quite draw 15 amps. Uh, we got green lights here. The car is now charging. That 15 amp fuse that I put in here should be sufficient. Uh, it's always good idea to replace with the same value this being a 20 amp would be recommended to put a 20 amp fuse in 15 amp fuse isn't going to cause any damage it may uh, have a nuisance blow down the road uh, it may not it may be just fine um, but you never want to go higher so you would never go to a 25 or a 30 amp fuse or you would never jumper the fuse out with a piece of wire that would just be stupid that's a that's a good way to get a, a, a visit from the fire department if you know what I mean uh, I'm protected 15 amp fuses in the Voltec charger. I'm on a 30 amp breaker anyway, so even if there was a catastrophic failure, the breaker itself would protect the house from burning down. But we shouldn't have any problems with it. Everything's working fine now. Uh, time will tell whether that fuse holds out. I'm going to get uh, a couple spare 20 amps just for the future, just in case they do uh, fail. Again, uh, this has been three years I've had this charger. So uh, I guess for three years having a fuse blow isn't such a bad thing and I think I know the reason why the fuse blew too. Earlier today while I was charging the car I was using this thing, an air compressor to pump up my tires and the air compressor cycled on and off a few times while the car was charging. My thinking is that this compressor caused a surge on one of the legs and caused the uh, fuse to blow in the charger while the car was charging. Other times I've used a compressor, I haven't had the car plugged in and I've never experienced that, but uh, I think that may have been what tripped that fuse was this compressor kicking in, drawing a lot of current.